Hi you guys from Universal Orlando. I am back with another Vlogmas video. I kind of fell down on my Vlogmas. If you would have seen the video right before this one, I had said I ended up getting sick, but I'm feeling better now. It, you can still hear it in my voice, but I am better now on the mend and I'm very excited to get back out and start doing things again. But yes, I'm feeling very grateful this morning to be feeling be more back to myself. But yeah, today we're gonna jump back in with picking back up on the Vlogmas videos. Thank you to everybody who sent me so many well wishes and get wells, I really appreciate it. Today we are back over here at Universal Orlando. So I am excited today. We're gonna go into, I believe, both the parks not really exactly sure we're actually here for a special little um family mission we're doing some christmas shopping so we have a certain family member that we are shopping for today and we wanted to come to universal to get some things so we're going to be doing that but in between i want to just kind of see all the universal christmas stuff i had come over here kind of early on in the christmas season it was before they officially kicked off all of their holiday things where they were starting to put up some decorations so I'm just excited to like see everything that they have Christmassy wise. We're gonna definitely do like a more proper full day of Universal holiday stuff, but today's gonna be like a little bit of a preview. And look who's back. You guys haven't been in a vlog in the longest time. No. You yeah, were it's, it's crazy. A crazy time, but uh, we got a lot to I do. I made a whole vlog in Pennsylvania. We did. Yes, which that, I'm not sure in my upload schedule, that one may not have come out just yet. But Dad did make a whole vlog in Pennsylvania, which will air and here that's soon. When I was starting not to feel good, so it's just been crazy. And now we're trying to move, um, trying to get there before Christmas. But I don't know if it'll happen, so we're just going to we'll relax. See. <laughs> yeah, but for today we have a shopping mission. I just told them about that here at Universal. What is this? Did you figure out what this is? Mistletoe and Pines Village. I know that's Earl the Squirrel, and I love him. I was that's adorable. He was, like hidden somewhere, but I can't. I don't see him. Look how cute this is. They have a little like Earl the Squirrel truck. Aww. Okay, so we're gonna start the shopping mission off. We're gonna go inside of the Universal Legacy store. Yeah, today's gonna be a quick little, mostly our mission today is to shop. That's like our, That's our mission today for. is to shop. Oh, look how cute. They even have decorations inside of the shop. Love it. I've become such a fan of Earl the Squirrel. Look at him, he's so cute. It reminds me of, I don't, I always heard that this was supposed to be in reference like Earl the Squirrel was supposed to be in reference to um, Christmas Vacation, the squirrel in the tree, which I now I actually don't think that it is, but um, somebody let me know if they know the lore of Earl the Squirrel more than I do. Like I, I'm trying to learn everything about it. Oh, and is this like his girlfriend? I wasn't aware Earl the Squirrel had a girlfriend. This shirt right here, I actually got this at the Universal Garage Sale on clearance, and it's still here in the gift shop. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, stop it. Look at this tree. This is so cool. Look at the Jaws boat. That is so cool. They have the Back to the Future out of time license plate. This is awesome. Confrontation. Oh, it's like all the old ride vehicles. This is so cool. I love this. This is a cool shirt. I like this. I like that design a lot. They have so much Jaws merchandise. And I think I said this the last, one of the last Universal vlogs that I did. Like, as big of a thing that Jaws still is, like, they need to bring back the Jaws ride. They need to do that. That would just be so cool. I think people would go nuts. We've now come across the way to the big main Universal gift shop. They have a ton of Grinchmas stuff. Oh, it's a spirit jersey, Mary Grinchmas. You can find like every IP in this shop. They got The Simpsons. They have, let's see, this is like superheroes, classic Universal over here, Jurassic Park. Oh, look at this Christmas tree. I think I'd love to come back on a day, maybe when we have more time, and do, um, they have a scavenger hunt, I believe, that you can go and like find like all of these trees throughout. I don't know if it's just City Walk or if it's also the parks. I have to look into that, but. You know I love any type of decorated Christmas tree. So yeah, this is right up my alley. Yes, this is it right here. So the holiday tree hunt, sponsored by Earl the Squirrel's Tree Farm. That is really cool. Oh my gosh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna know more about this. This I wanna do sometime. You know what, we were like, we're all here now. 
and like this is our shopping day, so I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do the Earl the Squirrels tree. What is it called? We, it's the holiday tree hunt, sponsored by Earl the Squirrel. Uh, sponsored by Earl the Squirrels Tree Farm, specifically. It says see a team member to participate. So let's go ask about this. I don't know if it's free or if you like if it's like the Disney scavenger hunts, like you pay for the map and then maybe there's like a prize or something. Okay, we just purchased the map. It was $13.85. You cannot do pass holder discount. Yeah, no that. pass holder discount, but you get an ornament. And they already gave it to us. It's really cute. We'll show you guys in a little bit. But that's like nice that you get like a significant, you know, prize. But how many are there? Is there 14? 14. Yeah, it looks like there's, there's 14. There's 14. Oh, 15. Oh, 15. Oh, and you have to decode a little oh, message. Look, okay. there's a decoder they, thing. They, I guess they gave a pencil. They gave us a pencil. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so yeah, Earl has a friend with a number hidden in each tree. Collect the numbers and use the decoder. Match the numbers from the tree with the letter on the ring. Oh, it's like the scene in, um, what's Drink it called? Your Drink your Ovaltine <laughs> Christmas story or something. That's funny. Okay, so wait, this is their tree. She said... So wait, how do we know there's a letter hidden in each tree? What are we looking for? It's a new scavenger hunt. I don't know. Okay, so he has Earl. Okay, we're looking for Earl. Oh, this is fun. Where is it? We'll have to go back to the other store too, because I bet that was like their tree oh, in the legacy store. Number in each tree. Collect the number. Ah, Dad, did you find it? Found it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. What is that number? Number one. And it's on like a little snowflake thing. Looks like a one. Match the number from the tree with the letter. We're trying to figure this out. This is kind of confusing. Cause okay, so we're in the Universal Studios store, which is spot number seven on the map, but we've discovered a one. So we're like, do we put Well one is the decoder. Yeah, one is what we use for the decoder, and then we'd put it on clue number seven, right? How do you get an M. So we think it's an H that goes on seven. Okay. Because it was spot number seven. Okay. We messed up. So we realized, yeah, this was actually in City Walk. So it should have been on number 10, the Universal Studios store. Okay, this is wrong. So we <laughs> pretend that's not there. Pretend that's not there. And we have to go back to the Legacy store now to see their tree. Okay. And that's Universal number two. Okay, Universal Legacy store again. So we were already admiring this tree. Oh, there it is. So this one is a little Christmas tree thing with the number 18. 18. So it's going on, mm, so let's see. 18 on the decoder is... They don't go in order, do they? It's like a... No. So it's an E and it goes on two. There we go. All right. Okay, so we found the two that are in City Walk. So we're gonna go into Islands first. This is like perfect because we're... Today we're all about shopping for our little Christmas shopping mission. So we'll get to do this in addition. We love our hunts. We do love our hunts. It's also so cool because I collect ornaments and I've been saying like now that I've like this year I've become a universal person and I wanted to get like a universal specific ornament and now I have one. You're starting a I'm starting a new tree. tree. Ooh. There he is. <laughs> okay, let's go in the park. Yeah. Oh goodness. Oh, I could have a whole Harry Potter thing. Oh my gosh. I'm going to start a universal tree. Get ready guys. It's coming. We're in islands and this is significant because this was the first park that I was like this is the first park to decorate for Christmas in Orlando. We were here like the week before Halloween and they had all these decorations up already. We're gonna go inside. This is their main gift shop, the trading company. We're looking for something for... Well you know what, if you're my family member just click off this video right now. Just click off. Click off. <laughs> Can I say who we're looking for? I don't know if he'll watch it or not. Well, we're not going to show him what we got. Okay. So we're shopping for something for my cousin Kyle, who's a universal person. And yeah, so that's what you need to know. We won't show what we end up buying. Oh, here we go. And we have found the Universal Islands of Adventure tree. Well, this is so fun. Look at these ornaments. 11. There it is. Holding number 11. It's a little acorn. So it's a Y, and we are in the trading company. So num it's going to go on number four. A Y. All right. This is cool. It seems like a really, really good crowd level day. We're here on today is December twelfth. Don't know how the rides are, but just shopping around here. At, it's around eleven a.m. It's just like really, really nice. And 
it looks like right across the way in Market Exports, there's supposed to be another tree over here. I'd gone in here one of the last visits over here to Universal and I love any type of a Christmas shop, but especially this time of year when we're looking to decorate, I like have to always go inside. Oh my gosh, look how cool this is. It's all Harry Potter. This is what I'm thinking. My next theme tree could be like a Universal and Harry Potter tree. How cool would that be? Oh, I would love it. I've like fallen down a rabbit hole of rewatching all the Harry Potters recently and I've gotten like so into it. We don't know if that's the specific tree that's a part of this hunt. Oh, is it maybe this one? Oh, this looks like it's set up specifically. Yes, here we go. And it's a number nine. And we are in the... We're in the, the number 12, 12, Island Market Export. And that's a nine, so nine. It's a very complicated scavenger hunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of confusing. Nine. Like I think this one they d actually designed like for adults. Like I don't feel like this is a child activity. <laughs> they would need a lot of assistance. <laughs> so let's look at this tree. So this is in like their like sweet shop. So it's all candy themed. Cute, very cute. Our next tree is inside of the comic book store and I think that's where we wanted to head anyway. Was over this direction. Because we don't know this I know, right? As like Disney. So that's the good thing about doing a scavenger hunt here is I feel like it's gonna teach us a lot of like where some of the more off the beaten path shops are and things like that. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I think this is it. I see trees. Okay, this isn't like the big main tree. I don't know if this is the right store. Maybe it's the one across the way. I had talked about this back with some of the 407 agents, but if you buy anything that's like Marvel merchandise, you can use it for both Universal and Disney. So it's like it works for both parks. <laughs> and speaking of 407 and Beyond Vacation Company, if you want to plan your next Universal visit or Disney visit, you can reach out to them anytime by visiting 407vacations.com. You can get a free, no obligation quote from them anytime, and they would be very happy to help you plan your next vacation. Oh, this is cool. I didn't realize Spider-Man meets back in here. It actually has like a green screen backdrop. Also, I don't think this is the shop that has our Christmas tree. I guess it's across the way. see more trees. I still don't see like a main tree though. These are cool though. If you're a Spider-Man person, look at these. Oh, look, they have like original comic books. We found it, the comic book store. I had no idea that you can actually just buy, like they had at comic books. Like who would have thought in a comic book store? But no, you're so used to in theme parks, it's like theming, but they actually have comic books in the comic book store. How about that? Oh, and I found the tree. I found it. Oh, this is cool. Look at this with all the figures on there. There's Thor's hammer. We got Tony Stark over here. This is a cool tree. Now where's our little hidden hidden message? We need to find the hidden message. I'm just gonna keep this rolling though because this is so cool to look at all the details. Oh, there it is. It's a number nine. So all the characters are gone by. That's exciting. Next up, we're going to Toon Lagoon, and we have to go to the Toon, what's it called? Toon Extra. The Toon Extra is where we have to go. <coughs> oh yeah, we wanted to go into the pass holder lounge. Oh, there it is. And get our magnet for being pass holders. I'm excited, we have not been inside here yet. I gotta get my annual pass out. How cool is that? It's a Christmassy magnet. We're gonna now have a whole pass holder magnet collection for Universal as well. I love it. Also inside there, we just discovered they have a shop with some pass holder exclusive merchandise. 
this cool? This is cool, and they just have like nice places to sit down, relax. Okay, now we're going in the gift shop here. Took us a while to find it. The sign that says Tune Extra is right there, like tiny. It's really, this one is like an intense scavenger hunt for us because we're still not as familiar with Universal. So it's exciting, we're like learning everything. This is cute. Oh, I like the paintbrushes. This is a cute tree. Oh, and there's the number 10. Number 10. Going on. And it's going on number 14. Oh. Next area we go, we have to go now to the Jurassic, uh, specifically the Velocicoaster gift shop is what the map says. So in the Jurassic Park area of the park. We're cutting through here. I have never been inside here before. This is the Jurassic World Discovery Center. This is nice, they have like a seating area. You can get food. How cool is this tree? So this is downstairs in the Discovery Center. I don't know if this is for our hunt or if this is just something special for the 30th anniversary. Oh, it is? Hello. There we go. So Number 17. This is the Velocicoaster store. This is epic. Look at this. On number six. On number six. Is this the last one in Islands of Adventure? There's think two. There's two the more cat, left. Cat in the hat thing. Okay. This is the All Hallows Eve Holiday Boutique. I feel like this is a pop-up thing. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. I didn't know this was a thing. Oh, maybe he'd like some of these things, Mom. This is like kind of spooky. This feels like Horror Nights in here. We found the tree. And we just saw it's number five. It is 150 minutes right now to meet the Grinch. That is like the experience here. There we are. Cats, hats, and things. This is where we need to go. Oh, this is cool. Look how it's like leaning. Number five. You found it? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Number five. One. Look at all the details. Comment below what has been your favorite tree so far. Oh yeah, you can get a gift sheet thing. How much is that? $4.99. Gift tags. Shopping mission. Success. Well, yes. Yay. We did it. And we also found all of the trees that were here inside of Island. So, check. So we got what we came for in the bag. And now I can show you, this is the ornament that we got for the scavenger hunt. That is so cute. It's almost like a slate. I think so. Yeah. Let's open it up. Why not? And it has Earl the Squirrel. It is. It's like a really yeah, nice quality. Like That's gorgeous. It seriously has inspired me to make a universal tree. It even has a universal right there on the back. That's adorable. So cute. This was like really fun. So we came here today to get what's in the bag here, the little Christmas present. But this was like a fun little extra thing that I kind of forgot that they did this here. We're actually we're planning to be back soon over here to Universal uh, to do like a full Universal holiday day because I want to come in the evening to see the parade. So that's going to be exciting. But yeah, also I'm wearing my Universal shirt. Dad, do you have anything Universal? Yes. You do, right? Yeah. yeah. There you go. The whole family today is styled from that Universal garage sale event. Yes. We love that. <laughs> That needs to happen again. I think they do them pretty frequently, so we'll definitely come back to that. But gonna go ahead and head out because actually tonight I am going to a fun kind of holiday event. I'm going to ICE at Gaylord Palms, which I've wanted to go to that for the longest time. It's finally happening tonight, so that's gonna be exciting. See, so yeah, this was kind of a quick video, but thank you guys for sticking with me with, you know, we're getting back onto Vlogmas. So this is kind of like Vlogmas day 9, 10, 11, like as I catch up here. But yeah, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and head out here from Universal, but thank you guys for watching. With that, make today magical, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you tomorrow.